Last week, one of our math teachers came to me and asked about a project that she was working on where students created uh, equations that could be graphed in, in a graphing calculator style piece of software. But what she wanted to do is find a way to overlay those graphs that come from an equation onto an image. And I wasn't sure about what was available out there. And so I did some snooping around and I found uh, a couple solutions. So if you're a Google Apps user or you use Google Drive, either for the apps domain or just the consumer level, all of these applications are freely available for you. But the first thing you need to do is download the applications. And the first application is the graphing calculator. And to do that, just click on create and then under connect more apps, you just need to type in in the search window graphing calculator and here it is the Desmos graphing calculator and then you'll see an install or connect it uh, to your apps account now the other uh, piece of software that you're also going to need to get and connect to your drive account is Pixlr P-I-X-L-R and if you just search there that's right at the top and then you also need to connect that to your to your apps account now you can see I already have it connected. So you need to have both of those. And then once you have those installed into your Drive account, you can click Create. And what we're going to do is start with the Pixlr account. Because let's say I already have an idea of what sort of shape I want to replicate using a graph. So I'm going to start with the Pixlr editor. And this brings up um, the Create New Image. We're going to create a new image. And you would just click OK. And this creates a blank canvas for us. Now this is very similar to Photoshop. It has many of the same tools, although it's free. It doesn't cost hundreds of dollars. Uh, but it has most of the same tools. And then all of these photos are actually saved into your Drive account, assuming you have them linked to your Drive account. I went over to Wikipedia and I found this great image of the St. Louis, the Gateway Arch. And I looked down below and I saw that this, this image is licensed under Creative Commons with Flickr. And it's, uh, I do need to attribute it because it's uh, Creative Commons. And this is Bev Sykes from Davis, California. Thanks, Bev, for letting us use your image. And we just want to give you credit for it. So what I'm going to do is right-click this image and copy the link address. So now I have the address for that image in my clipboard. Now, under in here, if I just go to File and then Open Image URL, this is going to open up a new file in Pixlr. There's a lot of ways you can do this, but this is just one of them. And you can see it says Progress. And here we go. We have the image of the St. Louis Arc. And then over here under Layers, it's the background image. And we're okay with keeping that as the background image. Then I'm going to add a new layer on top of that background image. Now, I don't actually have the graph yet, so I need to create that. So before I actually create the new layer, I'm going to go back to my Drive account. And I'm going to click Create. And then graphing calculator this is going to show up under your create menu after you've connected that application to your drive account and so what this does is open up what looks like a graphing calculator now i've already got an equation preloaded here that i'm going to copy and then paste into this expression window this does look like it's just a, a single line but actually if we zoom out enough you'll see that this is a curve And this is actually an arch. So I don't know if it's exactly the same type of curve as the St. Louis arch, but I'm going to center it and zoom in. And what I'm going to do is try to figure out if this is the same curve as the gateway arch. So now that I've got the image, I'm going to click on this share this graph button. And what that does is give me a lot of options. I can Facebook it. I can tweet it. I can Google Plus it. But what I'm really going to do is go to image. And then I'm just going to grab the URL for that image, just like I did from the Wikipedia page. So copy that to my clipboard. Now I go back to Pixlr. And then under layer, I'm going to open image URL as layer. I'm going to click OK. So now I've got two layers. Now you'll see that I need to resize this layer in order for it to, to see if it overlays there. But before I do that, I also need to get rid of the white in this background. 
And the way to do that is use the magic wand tool over here. And you can set the tolerance. It's, it's just one color, so it's not going to be a problem. 21 should be a fine tolerance. But I'm going to click the contiguous button. Uh, uncheck that so that it will actually select everything that's white. And I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to hit the delete button. So now I'm going to hit edit, deselect all. Okay, so what that did was it deleted everything that was white. And so now we're left with these lines and the graph. Now we need to actually change the size of this. So if I go back and select my, uh, my selection tool, and then under Edit, I click Free Transform. And what that does is put these boxes around the image that I have selected. Now if I just drag this, I could actually change the aspect ratio, which will screw up my whole plan here. So what I need to do is hold down the Shift key. Now, when I drag this, it will not allow me to change the aspect ratio. It'll only allow me to change the size, which is what I want to do. I want to maintain that aspect ratio. So I need it to be a little bigger than this. And now I need to apply the changes. Click yes. And now I'm going to drag this over to the arch. And so now that I have this actually overlaid, I'm pretty confident that this equation does not have the same curvature as the gateway arch in St. Louis. So I need to adjust my equation a little bit. So that's how you create a graph using the graphing calculator and overlay it on an image.